Hi guys, I'm Kranti Sambhav. You're watching O-Drive and this is the Citroen Basalt. Well, technically this full thing is basalt, but we're focusing on this part of uh, basalt because uh, Citroen thinks that uh, this is going to be its USP. A crossover coupe shape, which we don't generally see in the segment, which is ruled by products like Creta, Seltos, Grand Vitara. Creta almost sells around 15,000 units per month. And uh, when you want to compete in that segment, you have to have lots of USPs, lots of features. It, the package has to be power packed. And in this video, we're going to find out how is this uh, Citroen Basalt as a package and does it have enough to compete with the champions of this segment. But before we start this video, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. By the time you see this video, the actual prices for the Basalt should be out. You must have scrolled million reels and shots on the technical specifications. Some of it on the overdrive handled hopefully, but as we all know, that is not enough to understand a car. There's still plenty to explore and evaluate. How is it to drive? What has changed in Citroen's fifth product in the Indian market? What about the quality and the variety of features Citroen chose to put or skip in its previous offerings? Has Citroen addressed the concerns raised by you and us, which was acknowledged by the Stellantis top management as well? They had promised to address those concerns during our last interaction. Now the question is, are they enough? Let's see. Features which I like in this uh, new Citroen Basalt. One is the face, this makes it look distinct. Now you have LED projector headlamp as well. You get powered ORVM. Now the key fob looks better. Now you get digital instrumentation. You get climate control buttons. Now you have wireless charger and wrist with storage space. Now the power window buttons on the doors. Very quirky, interesting feature. Tiltable thigh support. Rear passengers get AC vents as well. Basal gets two engine options, 1.2 naturally aspirated and 1.2 turbo petrol. I like it. Now the features which I don't like that much. Flat door handles, keyhole. These make this car look a bit dated. The Basal doesn't get engine start stop button or a cruise control. You get three USB ports in Basal, but all three of them are type A. And in case you're a tall passenger like me, then headroom is an issue. And one feature which I don't like that much, but customers would miss it, a sunroof. Citroen Basalt's entry is an interesting phenomena in a segment which is crowded by compact SUVs with similar silhouettes. The coupe shape is unique for Indian customers, but not for long, as both Citroen and Tata Motors have decided to bet on this shape to break the monopoly of Korean and Japanese giants. So relying on the uniqueness of shape isn't going to be enough for this. Having said that, the car has a sleek, distinct and identifiable look from both ends. Coupe shape rear is obvious blue, but the front too gets a protruding grille which sets it apart from the existing Citroens. Basalt is uh, based on the same platform as uh, C3, but other than the coupe shape, what all has changed? What are the new elements? Let's take a look at that. First thing first, the face. Upper half of this face is very familiar. With the Citroen logo, you have uh, two uh, horizontal uh, chrome tip lines, then uh, X-shaped DRLs, plus this new thing, which is uh, the projector LED headlamp. Second thing, or the second half of this uh, face is new because uh, this uh, front grille treatment is different and uh, with this uh, chrome tipped panels, this looks distinct. This basalt gets 16-inch uh, alloy wheels, plus the cladding is uh, almost squarish. The wheel arches are not that amplified. Uh, you have some uh, panels on the doors, plus uh, rocker panel also gets uh, blacked out uh, treatment. Uh, overall, this feels higher than it is, actually. The ground clearance is 180 mm. But there are three elements which I want to highlight as far as uh, sides of uh, this basalt is concerned. One is the ORVM, which is powered now, and then you still get this uh, flap handle and keyhole, which makes it look a bit dated. Third thing, which obviously is the signature uh, style or shape, is this sloping roof line, which is uh, heavily raked. And uh, you can see this shape is something which you will you know, identify from a distance. So if you're following this car, this looks pretty distinct and interesting. Don't uh, evaluate this car uh, with my height uh, because this is a segment where uh, bulk or road presence matters. And uh, if we look at uh, the numbers of this car, uh, the Creta, the segment leader, is a bit taller, a bit wider, but this has uh, 
you know, marginally better wheelbase plus the length as well. So this is uh, longer than Creta. One aspect which uh, Indian customers uh, will definitely love is the luggage space or boot space, uh, which is 470 liters in this Citroen Basalt. And uh, if we again compare it with a uh, segment liter, that's 433, so around uh, 37 liters more. And uh, you can take a look, uh, the bags we are carrying, we have fitted everything and this still has lots of space. So before I start talking about the interiors or driver's seat of Basalt, let's talk about the engine options. We have 1.2 litre naturally aspirated and 1.2 litre turbocharged petrol versions. With the 1.2 naturally aspirated, you get a 5-speed manual transmission. And with the turbocharged version, you get 6-speed manual and automatic transmission option. Now let's talk about the driver's seat. And first thing which you notice is the new digital display, which looks neat, bit better. I mean, in this segment, we are uh, spoiled now. We are pampered by especially Korean makers and others uh, as well. So in that case, when you compare, this might look a bit smaller, but yeah, this is uh, looking much updated and this is looking, uh, the graphics, the overall uh, layout is nice. Then you have 10.25 uh, infotainment screen, which is a touch screen and the layout again is uh, pretty neat, very clean. And we faced some difficulty while connecting our Android uh, Auto, but uh, eventually it worked and now it is working fine. Uh, then you get new things uh, like climate control buttons and wireless charger. And uh, the transmission, this is the version which uh, we told you about. One is automatic and you have two different manual transmission options. Then you have some extra space uh, to put stuff here and there. And then armrest with some cubby hole. And overall the seats, they feel comfortable. They look premium, the kind of stitching, the kind of design you have uh, with a mixed fabric and leatherette uh, element. I think they look uh, pretty premium and even the dash design which has this uh, dull metallic finish maybe you can put your pens or something not uh, enough space for mobile phones and then you have this uh, glove box overall feel is uh, very functional some of the elements are premium but again not overwhelming i would say and uh, this is something which again looks very familiar if we compare this uh, to other citroen models now let's go to the second row if you're not at all passenger like me, then second row is uh, a place which you will like in this basalt. Why? Because uh, uh, with my height, the headroom is a bit compromised and uh, otherwise it has uh, good leg space. This uh, seat is adjusted to my driving position. Still, I'm getting decent uh, knee room. Then I have uh, decent space for foot movement. Uh, this central panel is a bit uh, protruded, so that might be a bit uh, cumbersome for the third passenger. Uh, but otherwise, I think uh, this feels spacious. Now the power window buttons have also moved on the doors. Uh, then you have uh, AC vent here for uh, second row passengers. There are two USB uh, points, again, type A only, no type C uh, points or ports uh, in this uh, uh, basal. Then you have uh, this uh, armrest. Overall feels very premium and spacious, other than the headspace for tall passengers, thanks to this sloping roof design. As we mentioned earlier, the Basalt gets two engine options, 1.2 liter naturally aspirated, 82 PS and 115 Nm option. And the other is 1.2 turbo petrol with 110 PS power and peak torque of 190 or 205 Nm depending upon the transmission you choose, 6 speed manual or 6 speed automatic. We were driving the turbo version. Another disclaimer, as we drove the car for a couple of hours and mostly in the rain, we couldn't push the car to its limits. So, let's call this the first impression report and start as the car fell to ready too. Citroen Passat Turbo feels like an eager car, ready to zip. Not till the turbo kicks in though. The lag is evident but doesn't ruin the experience which could also get some improvement with a smoother throttle response. The car is easy to adapt to and when you do, it feels like a happy car which you would want to push a bit more. The part of Goa we navigated through had enough speed breakers to test the control and suspension of the car. This is Citroen's forte and they didn't miss it in Basalt as well. The suspension showed a good balance, it absorbed the bumps with confidence and didn't make the rest of the drive wavy or too soft. It also felt confident around the mild turns and twists of the interior roads of Goa. Overall, the car feels light and yet robust. The drive isn't the best in the segment but it feels adequate and comfortable for both city and highway drive. However, there are a couple of issues which Citroen should work on to make it even better. One is the NVH level, which could bother you if you are accelerating or on a highway speed. 
Plus, the reverse camera quality could use some extra megapixels as the coupe shape anyway restricts some of your vision in the IRBM. Citroën Basalt looks like a good package if you compare it uh, with the products Citroën has in its uh, lineup, but then it is not competing with them. Uh, this is competing with products which are dominating the segment from really long time, feature rich, loaded products with those kind of features which used to be premium at one point of time, but now they are hygiene and uh, Basalt misses some of those features. Having said that, with its uh, practicality, space, drive, engine options or performance uh, and distinct look, this has a chance and uh, Citroen needs to do two things I guess. Price it really aggressively and expand its network so that customers feel more confident. So how did you like this video, this product and in case I miss something, do let us know in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe to Overdrive's YouTube channel. Bye-bye.